All right, so I thought I'd make a little video to show how you can make these templates your own. Let's start with May, and what happens is basically it gives you a link to a brand new document, a copy of all these templates in Canva. So let's start with this one. Um, the design tips are might be useful to you, but of course that's the first thing you want to get rid of when you're going to start editing your image. So we're probably not going to use this image because um, you don't want to have your the exact same pin everybody else has. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And I'm going to search for a new photo. The photos we use are from Unsplash or Canvas free image collection. So you could use them, but likely you're going to want to change it. So let's pretend we're in the travel industry still and we're going to write about mountains. So what we can do just stretch this out here the way we want it. It will automatically put it in the background for us, which is nice. You can always change um, the position from here. And now I like this, but I want the person in there. So here we go. Here's a little person. Done. Uh, you can fit if you want, but I kind of like it the other way. And the other thing is I want to move it over because I want plenty of room for my logo, which is not this. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to upload my real logo. Uh, some of the other things that you might want to change are fonts. Um, I really like this combination, but you can give a really custom look by changing the letter spacing. Looks like a totally different thing. This is a really fun one to play with as well as the line height, which wouldn't apply here because we're only one line. Um, but let's undo that. Something else, I like the white here. I think it stands out pretty well. I might change this color, but definitely the black is, I think it's really a dark gray, but it's too stark here. So what I want to do is pull in a color that looks nice with the image itself. So I'm going to click on the text color, and I'm going to come down here where photo colors show, because it's pulling out some colors for you. Um, that's kind of cool because it's pulling out that mob. Now I use a color pick extension in my browser um, and I kind of like this even darker. So I'm going to copy this, come back up here, select that again. I'm going to try this darker color. Okay, so I kind of like that one. All right, so uh, those are just some of the many things you can do to make this uniquely yours and if you want to show me what you're building i would really love to see it so if you could send me a link to your pin i'd like to see them right in the wild on pinterest to alisa at tailwindapp.com it's a-l-i-s-a -S and i would really love to see what you're building hope these are useful to you and i hope you have a great day thank you